Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> yeah. These days, you don't have to attend birthday or nikah or family occasion to get the lanat of Allah coming. Lanat of Allah is everywhere. The lanat of Allah is in your house. The lanat of Allah is outside. These days, now the lanat of Allah is even in places where it's supposed to protect you from the lanat of Allah. Lanat is a curse. And so, if you're asking a question, for example, there's non-Islamic music playing. There's non-Islamic music playing 24 hours everywhere. You turn on that television, it's filled with music 24 hours. Even if you say, no, 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 this is okay, this innocent music, children, music for children, cartoon music, it's still non-Islamic, however you want to define that non-Islamic music, yes? It's still the curse of Allah. What is, what is the meaning now of non-Islamic music? What is the meaning now? Some people think that, oh, if it's Arabic, it's okay. No. If the music now is going to make you to forget about Allah and His Prophet, that music now is going to bring darkness to you. If that music is going to make you to remember Allah and His Prophet, that music now is going to bring light to you. Does that mean now we can play non-Islamic music 24 hours thinking that it's making me to remember Allah? You cannot uh, overstep your boundaries with that too. That a person who is sincere and intelligent is going to find out by himself. And you know by yourself, you look at your heart to know whether this you are being sincere or you're not being sincere. If you are attending someone else's, um, you know, occasion, an event, you have no control over it. Things that are happening that is against to Allah and His Prophet, you cannot stop it. These are the days where you cannot say anything to anyone. Take out your tesbih, smile, and recite salawat. Allahumma salli ala Allah. Recite the salawat. It's okay. Because everywhere the curse of Allah is coming. And the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is coming to that house. That there are things that is going to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to be happy with us. We need to look. We need to look, inshallah. If you are remembering Allah in your heart, even if you are in the middle of a fire, because of zikrullah, nur comes with that, there's going to be protection with you. Where there is nur, the nar, the fire cannot enter. So important in these days, keep the zikr of Allah, wherever you are. Keep it wherever you are. So many times we go to masjids and all they talk about is dunya. Dunya. So many times we go to masjids, what they speak about in the khutbah, if it's not collecting money, the imam is just there showing off a knowledge that has nothing to do with spirituality or Islam. Just talking. Have a remembrance of Allah. That time we will be protected. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha. <laughs>